Hello everyone. Um, we're going to be working on our um, X5 again today. We're going to do a uh, basic oil change. Uh, we have uh, eight um, of these twin uh, power turbo uh, special uh, original BMW oil, engine oil for diesel. These are uh, critical to, um, to use for this engine. Um, don't buy any other stuff. It only costs nine bucks a piece. Uh, if you're going to do it yourself, it's well worth spending the money. Um, original BMW um, oil filter. It's about $17. It has the um, O-ring for the um, oil filter uh, housing there, and it also has the crush washer here. So when we take out the drain plug, we're going to be changing this also. These are, um, I'll leave the, um, the part numbers on my video for all of this. Um, we, will, we, we won't need too many tools, basic stuff, 17 millimeter um, socket for the plug. This is a 32 millimeter socket for the uh, oil filter housing. I'll show you exactly what we're going to be doing. Uh, let's get started. And uh, as we go, you'll get, um, we'll do the video step by step. Um, very basic video today, um, but it's better to do this on your own. Save a lot of money this way. Cost me um, eighty-seven dollars for everything here, so well worth the money. Um, sometimes BMW will ask for the um, to check these DEF um, reservoirs here. You automatically get a um, notification inside the car, so if it's not due. I won't do anything. When when comes time, I'll just go ahead and do that also. So let's get started. Um, I'll go under the car and show you where the drain plug is. I'll put a um, oil pan under the uh, car in a little bit. I'll show you uh, from there on. Okay, under the car now. Um, on the skid plate here, make sure that you um, don't untighten this one. That's not. This is not the oil. Um, drain plug. It's the one in the back there where the open um, space is. It's this one right here. It's a 17 millimeter uh, bolt. So that's the one we have to unplug. Uh, I'll do that and uh, show you how the um, oil comes out into the pan. The pan is a big 18 um, liter um, oil pan so that's enough to um, catch the 8 liters that I'm going to be um, taking out of this car. Um, let me do that and I'll come back. Okay, I'm going to try not to get in your way. I've untightened, untightened the, the bolt. I'm going to try to take it out as easily as I can. Uh, I know I always get dirty here, but it's okay. Now, try to have the um, crusher come out at the same time. I try to keep it plugged in until the last... There you go, uh, minimal oil. I'm gonna let that drain out for, oh, about 15 minutes I think it will take. Um, as soon as we don't see any more oil dripping out, we're all set. Now we can go on top side and take out the oil filter so we can uh, uh, get all the oil out of the uh, engine. See you in a little bit. Now, um, on the top side, we have to remove this, and we have to remove the um, oil, the engine um, cap here. Just pull it off. Very easy. We showed this in other videos. Put that aside. Same with this one here. T to take it off, all you have to do is just pull out the uh, plastic parts here. Just twist, twist on them a little bit. They come off very easily. So, taking these parts off, we have access to the oil filter housing which is right here it's a 32 millimeter um, socket which we'll um, use to remove this now I don't know if we need the extension or not probably do but this just goes in and fits right here there it is okay I was afraid to do Okay. 
Just comes out by hand now. Okay, now we like to keep our stuff nice and clean. Clean plates. So, um, when I pull this out, I'm just going to put it on, let it drain a little bit. There's a lot of oil coming out of this thing right now. Pull it straight up so the oil goes inside. Okay, sit it right there. Open the switch right for now. Okay, and I also take the cap off of the engine, oh, cap off the O-ring. Is this one right here? So, I mentioned you're probably going to need only the 17 and the 32 millimeter with the sockets. Add the, um, the pick to the, the equation. This is the best way to take this out. Just turn it all the way around. Just like that. No big deal. Pull it out from the housing on top. This, yes, this one comes out on top. You can put the other one. We're going to flip it Okay. Pull this out on top. Now the oil filter, just have to. There it is, just pull it out like that. It's a little clip that you have to. That's the old one. And down this one a little bit. Now, the o ring that's on the bottom here um, is not available with this kit. The one on top is the one that you really need to have to replace. So we'll just do that really quick. Um, let me get this cleaned down, um, take out the other O-ring, and I'll, I'll be back when I do that. Okay, now that we got this um, kind of uh, dried down a little bit, this is the new O-ring. Before we um, put the O-ring on, it's good to lube it a little bit, so just get some oil from your drippings there. You have plenty of it. You're always going to have extra oil in these things. Just loop it up a little bit. Now this one you put in from this side so you don't have to. And make sure it goes in the right groove. Don't put it in the wrong groove. It's this one down here, this one big groove here. So you just stick it there. Pull it around like that. There you go. Nice and oiled. Make sure it's in the right groove all the way around. Okay. Now, this is the new oil filter. There's no right and wrong way to do it. Put this in, just put it on, just from one side, doesn't matter. Make sure that it clicks in place. There, see that click? So it has to be flush with this little plastic here. You hear the click, you're ready to go. Now, let's go put it on. Clean up a little bit there. The oil that seeped outside. Okay. Now this goes in the same way it came out. Just stick it down through here. Hand twist it to the point that you're going to need the, the socket. Right there is fine for now. Just clean up a little bit from here on. It needs to be done. Okay. Really good. All right, so we got the 32 here. Let me try to help you. Now my my socket pivots here, so I don't need that extension. Just make sure that when you twist tightening in it, you don't overdo it. You'll, you'll know when to stop. Coming in pretty good now. And here is the critical part. There is fine. So the oil filter is changed. Done. 
No serious work. Okay, now we go on the bottom side again. Okay, there's no washer there. All right, but the um, the new one is on here. So make sure you put a new pressure washer on and make sure the old one comes off in the oil. Okay, just put that in there, bolt it in. Okay. That's done. I'll just tighten it down a little bit. And not too, I don't use torque um, tightening. I do it by hand. Uh, make sure that you don't overdo it because this is a very sensitive part. If you don't, if you strip it, there's a lot of work to be done after that. You don't want to do that. Okay, so I'll go ahead and tighten it down and go on top and put the oil in. I'll see you in a little bit. Now, um, this car is one of the um, few cars that BMW makes that actually has a dipstick. Dipstick is exactly above the oil filter housing. It's this one right here. Just pull it out, you can see it's a dipstick. This is bone dry because I haven't put anything inside. So as we're gonna be adding the oil, we can actually meter how much oil. Now I know that this car has uh, around seven liters, seven and maybe a quarter liter oil to, to be taking inside so um, it's gonna be quite a quite a much quite a bit of oil going into this okay make sure you use this oil this is the oil that um, BMW um, puts in the cars at the dealership so so we're gonna be working on this one at a time um, I won't put you through this process um, I'm gonna put in six of these make sure that I uh, I should put seven actually, I'm going to put in seven. And then I'm going to look at my dipstick and see where I am. And I'm going to keep adding until it's the right amount of oil. Okay, so as soon as I put in seven, I'll come back to you and we'll see the dipstick at which um, point it is and we'll go from there. Okay, let's check the dipstick one more time. Uh, it should be lower than the uh, max level. Let's check this out, see really quickly. Take it out and there we go. So yes, that's correct. It's just about halfway uh, through the um, minimum and uh, maximum level there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add maybe a quarter more um, of the liter from the eighth liter that we have, about a quarter more, should bring it up to um, to the uh, max level there. So I'll just put that back in, add the quarter level the quarter liter All right. so quarter more liter now these bottles here have a nice uh, reading on the outside so this is about 900 right here so we have to get it down to about here so I'll go ahead and do that That's about where we need to be. So you don't need the whole eighth liter, just a little bit of it. But it's good to buy the eighth liter because you're gonna use a quarter of it anyway. So that's pretty much um, what we gotta do here. I'm gonna put this back together now uh, and we're finished. The indicator inside for the oil level um, said that, that it was maxed, but as you can see, the dipstick um, clearly needed a little bit more motor oil. Okay, I'm gonna put this back together and we're done. Okay, now to um, to reset the um, oil change um, on your dashboard, uh, what you have to do is um, insert your key here and push the button, uh, the start button once until it comes to this uh, menu here and push down the um, black button uh, the odometer um, reset button uh, until you get to the um, well I have a parking uh, 
handbrake um, malfunction also, so uh, this comes up for me. Uh, as soon as you um, you keep it keep it pressed down, and it'll go to the next menu for the service. Um, we'll wait for it to do that. Well, let me repush it. Maybe it needs another press. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so it comes up to the um, menu here. You just keep pushing it until it comes um, to the menu that you're interested in to reset. This is the oil um, reset. I've already done it, so if you keep pushing the button, it keeps, you know, uh, rotating the um, service uh, that you want to reset. So when it comes to the point where the oil is right there, just keep it pressed one time and it will it'll reset it'll ask you to reset push it once more and it resets it to the um, 11,000 mark uh, that's all you have to do and it resets it and if you actually go into the um, vehicle settings here the vehicle info and go to your vehicle status and see the oil oh, actually no it's the other one the service required uh, the oil is overdue. Oh, maybe there it is. Next service due to 2022. So it'll take maybe a second to refresh the um, the service setting, and it goes back to the green. So now you're all set. Um, your oil change is uh, complete, and, um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I will be doing a uh, another video on. Uh, let me show you the um, vehicle info, the status on my vehicle here. I have the park brake has a malfunction, so I will be um, working on that. Uh, I know I have to um, take out the uh, module for the um, parking brake. It's in the back, um, and I'm going to um, do that very shortly. So until then, um, hope you enjoyed the video. And, um, see you uh, next time. Thank you for watching.